How's it going guys? Welcome back today to a brand new video here on AFTV Young Guns. Sorry if I look half dead right now. I'm currently half asleep quite early in the morning. Again, only running off 34 hours to sleep. But putting that aside, we're here today with top five players Arsenal could sign or should go in for this January. Basically, we're going to go through five players I feel like would benefit the squad or add something to the team if we were to bring them in this January. They're not necessarily going to be realistic, but I'll keep it realistic as possible. Also, there is a giveaway going on for this Lacazette custom Europa League FIFA card. There'll be a link to the Instagram post in the description. Talking of links in the description, there's also going to be one to www.cardstore.com I believe it is, and you can buy literally any FIFA card. Messi team in a group stage, a custom one, you can make your own card on there, or you could get something, if you're another football fan, you can get something like this Mo Salah, or if you really fancy it, you can pick up yourself a, a team in a group stage name on. With that being said, you can literally make any card of your own, if you want to make your personal card and add your own photo to it with your own stats, then feel free. You can literally get any card that exists, and if you use code MAT10 at checkout, you'll get yourself 10% off. Anyway, number 5, Usman Dembele. Barcelona youngster, he's what, 18, 19 years old? Um, and he, has, he hasn't really worked out for him at Barcelona, let's say. He went from Borussia Dortmund to Barcelona for around £100 million. Pounds. It's not really gone in his favour, let's say. He's, you know, he struggled to hit the ground running. Although he's still one of the biggest young talents in the world of football. And this is why I feel like we should take someone like Dembele on. I feel like he's really lacking confidence, although the goal he scored against Tottenham yesterday was incredible. You look, you look at that and you just think a player like this it's almost like he's glimpses of Mbappe, having that confidence to run forward with the ball, pushing a couple of players off, going all the way to the final third and getting yourself a goal. I feel like a player like Dembele, right, he needs a bit of confidence in his game, right, and he needs that run of games where he can just hit the ground running and become that top star player that he really has the potential to become. I feel like at Arsenal, he'd really settle in, especially, with, you know, with the former relation with Aubameyang as well. Um, you know, essentially, Aubameyang's one of his best mates, so if you're going to be going, you know, to play football to look for confidence and you you know just to hit the ground running and you're going to be alongside one of your best mates it's a win-win situation on top of that i feel like under unai emery we need a winger right we need we need an out and out winger and dembele can play that he can play on the right you know it would benefit us in that sense and then i reckon it would also if he was to stay at the club it can allow meza ozil to play more of a central role obviously if that's possible uh depending on you know the formation and the lineup we go for on that uh, specific day you've got to remember as an 18 year old kid you've gone for a hundred plus million pound to the biggest club one of the biggest clubs in world football at the age of 18. You know, your average 18 year old is just leaving college and getting himself a little job because they didn't enjoy college or something, do you know what I mean? So to be playing at Barcelona at the age of 18, 19, it's quite impressive. Number four, Koulibaly from Napoli. Let's be real, I feel like we need a centre back. Laurent Koscielny, he's quite old, um, and he's really sort of ageing, getting on quite a lot now. Um, and of course, where he did have the Achilles problem that was ongoing and ongoing and ongoing, and then got injured at Atletico Madrid. I feel like Koscielny now will just be a squad player now that he's back. Um, that's what I feel personally. Anyway, we'll probably see him get a run, a, a few run of games right now, uh, simply because Rob Holding is injured. So let's be real. Essentially, we need a centre back, um, especially if we want to continue playing the three uh, centre backs in the formation. Like I say, with Rob Holding out now for nine months, yeah, we can always recall Callum Chambers. We've got Mavropanos as well, but. If we're going to be going for top four, we're going to need quality within the squad, you know? Um, and I feel like Koulibaly is a player that he's been at Napoli now for quite a while. And each transfer window, clubs are always sniffing around him, right? Let's go in for him. Let's put the money on the table. And let's bring in a quality centre back. Number three. Now, I don't have a specific player as such. But we need a left back. If we play four at the back, Monreal, I feel, don't get me wrong, as good as a player he is... I feel like he's getting on a little bit now. He is, you know, he's in his 30s. He's getting quite old. Kalasanak is very good on the overlap. However, his defensive abilities, as much as he's a beast, as much as he's the tank and all these pe and all these names that people call him, in a good way, of course. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of too many left backs, but as you can see, I'm kind of half asleep right now. So comment down below a left back you reckon that would be good at Arsenal. Number two. Now, it's not really a new signing, but considering how he has done since he's been out on loan, it would be like a new signing within the squad. Instead of signing someone like Usmane Dembele and paying all that money, why don't we bring back Reese Nelson? A young player who is filled with confidence, scoring goals for fun over at Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. Reese Nelson, why don't why don't we bring him back? He can play he can play on the wing, he's filled he's filled with confidence, and the few months he's been out at Bundesliga. 
And the few months he's been out in Germany, he's been doing bits. Honestly, he's scoring goals, like I say, literally for fun. And he's still a young kid. Granted, Jaden Sancho is kind of, you know, the spotlight if you were in the Bundesliga as the young kid. Take nothing away from Reese Nelson. He's absolutely tearing it up out there. Don't get me wrong, as great as it would be to have him back at Arsenal, I feel like if we leave him there for a season and let him complete the full season alone, I genuinely feel like he'll be in that first team squad most games. It just looks like he's going to work out for him when he comes back. Number one, talking of the Bundesliga, and talking of Jaden Sancho, why not make a move for him? He is... I don't know how to explain how well he's playing for Borussia Dortmund. The confidence he has on the ball is just incredible. Again, he's young, he can play out wide. And, and why not just make a move for him? Why not just make a move for him? Like Bav said in the little video we did, um, it would bring that national, um, you know, British core to the team. Of course, in the backroom staff, we've got Sven, who could work magic again. You know, he got a player like Gwen Doozy, who is, again, what, 19 years old, and he plays with so much confidence on the ball. They're literally still in their teens, and they play with this much confidence on the ball. Rhys Nelson, Gwen Doozy, Jaden Sancho. Imagine having all this young talent within the squad. You would literally have a future plan in front of you. For Unai Emery for a few years, if another manager comes in in five, ten years, you're going to have these future players as long as they stay with us you're going to have this future plan and project in front of you that's going to win league titles that's going to win the champions okay i said let's keep it realistic <laughs> why not going for someone like felipe anderson he's doing incredible at west ham you know he's again scoring goals for fun wilfred zaha although you know he needs to cut the diving out of his game but other than that, he's a, he's a good player. Again, confidence on the ball. Young, got potential. Can play in the middle, can play out wide as well. So there's a, there's a few players that we could go in for. I reckon we are going to make a move for someone. But anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to leave that video. Drop a like, subscribe to AFTV Young Guns if you are new. The support recently has been crazy. We're on like 16,400 subscribers now as well, which is which is kind of mad. Um, there will be an Aubameyang episode coming very, very soon. I've just been extremely busy um, and I'm not really at home at the moment. I'm not going to lie to you. If you did enjoy this video like i say drop a like comment down below any players you reckon arsenal should sign or you know comment your opinions on players that i've mentioned the five that i mentioned they're in no particular order they're literally just five players who i reckon arsenal could go in for or should go in for in my opinion um but yeah until next time we'll see you soon